Hello everyone. If you're tired of watching me work on meaningful projects, today's your lucky day because I'm selling out. I've got this laser cutter and engraver that's just so amazing. I couldn't help but share. Before we get into the life altering details of this machinery, let's clear the air. Xtool handed me this P2 CO2 laser cutter and engraver on a silver platter. But don't worry, my integrity is still intact. I promise to lambast any shortcomings, sparing no feelings. You'll want to pay close attention because this won't be a one-hit wonder. I'll be subjecting you to a series of videos on this modern marvel. This machine is not just any laser cutter. It's particularly clairvoyant. You can throw a gnarled piece of wood in there, or even a crispy tortilla, and thanks to its laser grid pattern, it'll just adjust the z-axis as if it can sense the surface. And for those of you pining for a laser cutter to accommodate your oversized monstrosities, look no further because this machine has a pass-through feature. I mean, come on, a standard cutting bed is just way too mainstream. Oh, and don't forget to check the description for a magical link that'll get you this awe-inspiring machine at an exclusive discount. So now we've reached the part everyone's been waiting for, the unboxing. Yes, I get to rip apart layers of packaging like it's Christmas morning. They didn't just throw this machine into a box with some bubble wrap and call it a day. Oh no, they've used shock foam so robust. Let's make sure this doesn't move an inch, even if it gets drop kicked by an elephant. So the surprises just keep coming. It's like opening a Russian nesting doll of laser cutting delight. Not only is there foam cutout galore for all of your heart's desires, but it's as if they're trying to save on shipping or something. It's that, or their designers had a little too much fun playing Tetris. We've got everything neatly packed, instruction manuals, basswood, cardboard, cast acrylic. They even included a funnel and antifreeze. All right, let's talk weight class. According to the official specs, this machine weighs in at a whopping 99 pounds. Either my gym routine has turned me into the Hulk or someone's fudging the numbers because it felt lighter than advertised. Still, don't be fooled. I had to enlist the help of my able-bodied son to lift this mechanical monstrosity out of the cardboard layer. A family that unboxes laser cutters together stays together, right? Now, if you thought you were done dealing with the hardware, you're sorely mistaken. Xtool keeps you on your toes with some hidden compartments, because of course they do. There are screws that need to be removed, and just when you think you're done, you're going to put them right back in. In the tray, there's even more swag tucked away, but here's a pro tip that'll level you up. Use a magnet on the provided screwdriver so you don't lose that teeny tiny screw. Just when you thought this couldn't get any more exhilarating, Xtool graces us with sticky tabs to guide our screw-removing endeavors. It's like a treasure map, but instead of X marks the spot, it's tab guides the tool. There are five more screws you need to conquer, and let me tell you, this is only half the battle. Hey, did you just see that? That's skill. That's why you use a magnet. You're welcome. This is only half the battle if you're trying to access the laser tube for a little fluid refill. I'm talking about antifreeze, water, or whichever cocktail you prefer for your laser tube. Air spring shocks on a safety cover. It doesn't get more opulent than this. A sticker that covers the laser tube access panel. It's not just any sticker. Peeling this bad boy off is the pinnacle of tactile satisfaction. If ASMR channels can get millions of views, then this, this, with the other sticker coverings that I have to remove, should go viral, right? And just when you thought your screwdriver was about to collect dust, surprise, five more screws. Brace yourselves for the single most challenging chapter in our story, the panel removal. No, this isn't a how to quit your job guide. It's even more riveting. After undoing all those screws, I thought for sure I'd missed one, given the stubborn resistance, but no, the panel was just playing hard to get. The trick? A little upward yank with some interpretive dance. You've defeated the panel boss, but don't get too comfortable. The next level involves dealing with the laser tube. Yes, the one powered by don't try this at home levels of high voltage. Put on your best Sherlock Holmes cap and examine the tube for cracks and any wire coverings that may be playing fast and loose. But I gotta hand it to the X-Tool folks. They did an excellent job. 
the temperature table that dictates whether you go to the antifreeze route or keep things classic with the purified water to avoid any bubbly inconvenience in the tube. You're looking at two fillings. The first round is a hearty 1100 milliliters with the power off and the pump taking a break. The second is a mere chaser of 300 milliliters after the liquid has gone on a little merry-go-round inside the tube. Just remember, the merry-go-round won't happen unless the power is plugged in and the unit's turned on. Look, Ma, no bubbles. Well, there's a few. And now, my friends, prepare for the emotional roller coaster that is the return of the panel. Spoiler alert, it's a love story with a happy ending. Reattaching the panel is actually like a romantic comedy. Easier the second time around. Aim for the top first. Get that to click, then snap the sides into place like you're sealing a love letter. After that, it's screw time once again. Prepare yourselves for a saga of betrayal and redemption starring, you guessed it, the exhaust hose. I romantically considered pairing it with the carbon filter, but plot twist. The carbon filter was just a figment of our collective imaginations. It's not included, obviously. What a cliffhanger, right? It's like waiting for a special guest star who never shows up. Wait, before we go any further, let's take a moment to honor a true legend among tools. The venerable husky screwdriver. Yes, seasoned and rusted like a fine wine. This bad boy isn't just for laser cutters. Oh no, it served aboard my salty sailboat, braving tempests and triumphs alike. To think, this rusty artifact might just be the unsung hero of my entire setup. Okay, what was I talking about before? Oh yeah, the hose. Don't even think about indoor release anyway. Those PM values make smog look like fresh mountain air. The real hero move, extending the hose to the great outdoors. So brace yourselves for the cinematic climax. Turning on the machine for the, wait for it, second time. You think you've seen it all, but the plot thickens. Here comes another satisfying peeling of the plastic cover, right from the machine's fabulously curved face. It's like peeling an onion but without the tears, unless they're tears of joy. Time for the next big reveal. Connecting the computer to this behemoth of a machine using the provided USB cable. But we're not done. Prepare for a roller coaster of clicks and double clicks as we install the Xtool Creative Space software. Imagine, if you will, that this is like docking your ship at the mysterious new port, awaiting the adventures that lie ahead. Let's navigate this maze of endless questions, as if we're installing something so clandestine that it demands we choose its secret layer on our hard drive. They ask for Windows permissions like it's a top secret government project. And look, they even share the entire privacy policy, terms of service, and safety terms. You know, just some light reading to remind us we're playing with a class 4 laser. Now you'd think we're ready to make some magic. But no. First, we must run yet more installation software to get those sweet, sweet H340 and RN disk drivers required for the USB communication. Don't worry, this installation also comes bundled with the software itself. It's like the Matryoshka doll of installation processes. There's this charming little pop up window that graces us with its presence every time you start the software. It's the hostess with the mostess, serving up the hottest news and features. If it gets too chatty, you can tell it to quiet down for a week with a handy little checkbox. Now hold your horses. Just when you think you're ready to start engraving the Magna Carta onto a piece of balsa wood, the machine's internal controller decides it's not in the mood 
and needs a firmware update. This is your cue to go make a coffee, or perhaps even brew your own artisanal beer. You've got time. We're almost there, I promise. Well, maybe not promise, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Now your reward for enduring this tech epic is a high-res photo of the laser bed. It's the machine's way of saying, welcome human, to my domain. Speaking of domains, check out the swanky dashboard next to the start button. They've thought of everything. Water temperature gauge, door lock indicator, and your choice of USB or ethernet connectivity. It's like the Swiss army knife of laser cutter dashboards. Let's start playing. Let me just hit this little refresh button here. Bam, a new pic of the cardboard pops up in the software, like it's auditioning for America's top model. Now for my next magic trick, we press the capture close view button. This gives us an up close and personal look at our cardboard because clearly it wants to be a star. Watch this, I'll angle the cardboard like a seasoned photographer working with a runway model and then refresh. Voila, the software now shows the cardboard in its new seductive pose. This little piece is designed to make sure your workpiece doesn't go on a joyride, but be warned, using it feels like diffusing a bomb in an action movie. The trick here is to align it so perfectly that even Goldilocks would say just right. Cross that line and the spring clip might just eject itself like it's been voted off the island. Is it essential? Mostly for when you're in the mood for some high-speed engraving and feeling like it's a daredevil. Otherwise, you might as well just keep it as a conversation starter. See here? A list of materials so exhaustive, it's like the machine is daring you to mess up. You'd have to really try hard to misconfigure this bad boy. Isn't it just divine to skip the tedious trial and error phase? You know, the part where you smell burning, hear ominous sounds, and wonder if you're about to ruin your machine and your day. And let's not forget, this curated list of not just saving your time, but possibly the machine's life. No fire department calls necessary. So for all of you itching to turn your laser cutter into an oversized paperweight, sorry, but this feature is your safety net. Onward. All right, time for some romance. I'm picking the heart shape because nothing screams, I love you, like blasting cardboard with a laser. My plan? To place this lovely little shape so close to the edge of the cardboard that it'll either be a triumph of precision or a cautionary tale. The options available are scoring, engraving, or cutting, each with its own recommended parameters. But who needs recommendations, right? You're more than welcome to go rogue and play mad scientist with the laser tubes, 55 watt power, and the speed settings, because life on the edge is how we roll, right? Stay tuned to see if these so-called recommended settings are worth their salt. So our heart is placed, brimming with the emotional vulnerability, right there on the cardboard. Moment of truth. Will this be a laser-induced love connection or a heartbreaking disaster? The moment we've been waiting for. I've hit the start button and sealed the door. The machine's heart is beating in sync with mine. No turning back now. Well, you could cancel if your sense of commitment suddenly abandons you, or if you just don't like the parameters. Oh, what do you know? The heart came out as close to perfection as anything can in this imperfect world. And look at that kerf, so narrow, it could slip through a crack in your broken dreams. Well, because one heart is just never enough in this materialistic world, let's carve another one out, shall we? This time we're going all out, no holds barred, cutting it out like a teenager with scissors and angst. Voila, it's like Cupid's arrow, but in laser form. Gave it to my wife, and would you believe it? She actually loved it. How's that for domestic bliss? The age-old question, how close can you get without totally screwing it up? Now, let's find out. I've placed two lines so tangentially close to those hearts, you'd think they were in a serious relationship. And there it is, lasered to perfection. It's like the machine read my mind or something. Because this laser cutter apparently thinks it's smarter than me, 
I've concocted a fiendish plot to see if its auto-planning feature is all it's cracked up to be. You see, in the old days, you'd have to manually shuffle layers around to decide the cutting order like some kind of Neanderthal. But no more. I'm throwing down the gauntlet. I'm placing some text to be scored, then I'm placing a box around that text to be cut out, and then I'm going to add some more text inside of that box to be scored. The auto planning feature should cut out the outside box at the very end, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully it goes to plan. Let's see if this machine can cut it. So is this machine a brainiac or just another box of pretty lights? Stay tuned. While this fine-tuned laser craftsman conducts its symphony of lights, let's dive into the nitty-gritty. You see, this isn't just any laser doing its thing. No, no, no. It's planning. It's strategizing, basically contemplating the meaning of life while executing commands. Each hum, each buzz, a note in the most riveting performance you've ever seen. Riveting, I tell you. And all the while, it's like it's reading our minds. Scoring first, cutting last, as if it's been trained at a Swiss finishing school for laser cutters. The tension builds. Will it get it right? Well, of course it will. It's been programmed to perfection. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, another masterpiece. Thanks for joining me on this whirlwind exploration of lasers, cardboard, and minor suspense. It's been a real tearjerker, hasn't it? If you ever dreamed of living life on the laser's edge, today was your lucky day. For now, we say goodbye, but stay tuned. The sequel is about to be just as thrilling.